I've told you guys I was gonna film this video for a while, and today I am going to share with you all of my favorite uses for these zipper pouches. There are a couple of types of organizers that I like to just have on hand. This is my closet of organizing supplies. The number one thing I love to have is these zipper pouches. Number two is probably photo organizers, and I'm sure you've seen me use those around the house a lot. But today I wanna to share with you my top 10 uses for these zipper organizers. They come in a bunch of different sizes. I like to order the multi-pack. Here's one of the larger sizes, and they even come as small as this little one. Let's see, lots of different shapes, this long one. And I have come up with a few different things that I hope would be helpful uses for you and creative ways that you can use them. Also keep in mind, I will link in the description box a couple of other options besides this multi-pack that I have right here. There are some that have colored zippers if you are somebody who wants to color coordinate or more visual or have kids and that would help them. So I will link a few different options for these zipper style organizers in the description box below. But with that, let's jump into the first thing. The first and my favorite way to use the zipper pouches is to store board games. Some people have asked why I like to do this or why I take them out of their original packaging and there's a couple of reasons. I think sometimes the boxes start to actually fall apart and another reason is because it streamlines the look and the shape of everything when I'm organizing it. So if you are somebody who wants to resell board games, I've heard that before, you might not want to throw away the boxes, but I am not planning on doing that. So this has been really helpful to keep track of all of the pieces. Sometimes the actual board will fit in here other times like with my other version of monopoly here i just have the board sit next to it so i can organize all of the boards and then all of the pieces that go with it and instructions i also use smaller pouches in these big pouches to keep track of the little pieces so in the case of monopoly all of the houses and hotels and game pieces and then just stick that in here and zip it up so this is my favorite out of all of the different things that you can use with zipper pouches. I'm in our storage room because that's where I keep all of our seasonal decor and that's another great use for these zipper pouches. I store all of my small little pieces in these large white tubs because I don't want them to get lost. I want to quickly know what I'm looking for and especially with things like these garlands, I don't want them to get tangled. This has mini decor, it's labeled and there's a bunch of little bats. I would hate for them to be all roaming about the large bins. So I do keep the labels really general here. You'll see mini garlands, mini decor. You can't tell what season it's for. So let's say I'm taking down my fall decor and putting up my winter decor. I would have my winter decor stored in here and have my winter mini garlands and then take down my fall, take out my winter and put my fall back in here so I don't have to have a bunch of them in each bin. I kind of sort them and rotate them through with what items are being stored versus what items are out in my house. But again, with the multiple sizes, these are really handy to keep all the little items contained in a bigger container. If you have school-aged kids, you're taking classes yourself, or maybe you need some office supplies on the go, the long thin size is great for pens and pencils as a little pencil case. It's big enough that I could probably fit a pair of scissors in here too, so just a minimal collection of your art supplies. I have quite a few pens and pencils in here. You could fit maybe a pack of markers, but this size is really great for that. I have a full video on car organization. If you are interested in that, that I will make sure to link here. But I use zipper pouches in my car to organize a few beauty items as well as all of those little things that you might need when you're on the go. I have like a Kleenex, a pen, hand sanitizer in there. Again, the rest of it is all in that video. But these things are handy for your center console organization as well as maybe one of the larger sizes to have your insurance information and your registration and all of those documents in a safe spot. Zipper pouches have been one of the best ways to organize my diaper bag. 
I have a few different ones in there, some for random baby items, pacifiers for the smallest ones. I even have one for myself to have like chapstick and a snack bar. That was really handy when I was breastfeeding and hungry all the time on the go. This larger one says fresh and clean. So I have an extra blanket and burp cloth and outfit for him just in case, because we all know that those things happen when you have babies. So having all of these organized makes it easier to find what I'm looking for very quickly. If you're familiar with the cash envelope budgeting system, these pouches work really well for it. It's a budgeting system where you categorize all of the different spending areas you have, label your envelopes in one case, and put the amount of cash that you wanna spend in each of those categories. These are a lot nicer than using paper flimsy envelopes because you can reuse them over and over and over again, make some really nice labels for them, or check out my website where I sell labels that you can get for these pouches, but they are the great size to have cash fit in there nicely. Craft supplies can easily get out of hand. That is where these zipper pouches come in handy. I use them for all different things, whether it's these little pom-poms, pipe cleaners, any specific crafts that you have. If there's like one project that you're working on, it can be a great way to contain an active project. I know I do that. I start one project, move on to the next and haven't finished it. So I use the large sizes to keep those active projects separated out and keep all of those items together. But with all of the different sizes, you can easily sort and organize any craft supplies. I've been asked to do an organized purse tour before and basically what's in my purse is these little guys. I will put in like, I have a lipstick in here, a little perfume, a touch up concealer. I even have something to help with blisters if I'm getting a blister, depending on what shoes I'm bringing. But these bags, especially the little sizes are great for purse organization and that's all you need to keep an organized purse. If you're heading out on a beach vacation anytime soon, the reason I like using the zipper pouches for beach bags specifically is because they are waterproof, sand won't get inside of them. So you can toss your sunscreen in here, some sunglasses, maybe a chapstick, any other little things that you don't want to get all sandy or wet. Keep in mind that the zipper itself is not waterproof, so you can't fully submerge it and have all of your items be waterproof. But again, it will, for the most part, protect from any spills or that sand getting through. So feel free to use it for whatever you want and toss that in your beach bag. Especially as a mom now, I feel like a first aid kit is a must have to throw in your car or to take on the go with you. And using the zipper pouch, you can completely customize all the things that you put in there. So they're things that you actually need and your family actually needs. You can obviously buy a pre-made first aid kit, but oftentimes there's a lot of things that you don't need in there and things that you do need that are not in there. So I like to be able to create my own one and then you can pick which size you wanna use based on how many items you need or how long of a trip you're on or, or where you're going or whatever the case might be. That's it for today's video. Let me know if you enjoyed or if there are any other uses you can think of to use these zipper organizers. It would be great to hear from you in the comments and we can all share your ideas and learn from them. If you wanna see maybe like a part two on how I use photo organizers, let me know that as well. But until next time, I will see you guys later.